Today, I'm gonna to be doing a quick review of this mini thermal printer that I got from Amazon. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. So yes, I have a mini thermal printer. These printers print in black and white and they don't take any ink. They just print straight out onto paper. So it's a pretty cool concept. Now I did not pay for this. A company reached out to me and I was sent the, for this. I was sent this product for free to kind of provide a review for you guys. So that is what I'm going to do. Now I had actually been looking at these printers before they reached out to me because I was kind of intrigued for maybe using it to make labels. I do have a label printer, like a P-Touch, or it might be Brother, I think it's Brother. Is that Brother P-Touch? Whatever. I have one of those, but all the labels are like the shiny labels, so they're great for tabs, they're great for like labeling my sticker boxes and stuff like that, but they really aren't for like putting on my planner pages. So I was kind of like looking at this for that. However, <laughs> Of course, knowing me, the first thing I had to do was try photos. Um, before I say that, I do want to say it does come with everything you see here, charging cable. It came with five rolls of regular paper and five rolls of sticky, sticky paper. And this is kind of the size of the rolls. So regular paper, sticker paper, they're about the same. Um, this is probably a little bit more because the sticker paper is going to be a little bit thicker because of the backing. Um, but yeah. I do want to note those differences because you'll see on the print quality of photos in particular, um, sticker paper probably was not the best. Um, but yeah, so even though I'm using it for labels, I really wanted to try it for photos. So I'm getting all my little sheets over here that I've already pre-printed. While I'm talking, I'm going to be throwing up a video of me going into the app kind of setting stuff up. Unfortunately, when I do a screen record, you can't see what I'm clicking on, but I think you can see enough to get the general gist of how the app worked, which I thought was fairly easy to operate. It was super easy to hook up to find this little guy once I had it on. It picked it up via Bluetooth. So I did not have any issues with the app. I didn't have any issues navigating it or anything like that. Okay, photos. So here are some photos that I printed. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I think this one might have been the first photo I printed. And the, I probably should have reprinted it again because you could see it's a little faded down here. Um, like it just didn't print as well at the bottom and it didn't print as well at the top. So I probably should have printed this particular photo again just for comparison purposes. Unfortunately, I'm filming on my phone, so I can't take care of that right now. Um, this one printed a little bit more consistently, so there's not any fading going on. It did print super dark as far as, so this is the top of the photo, um, as far as the blacks or whatever, um, and I am further away, so you wouldn't be able to see my face very much anyway, but that is the general quality of a photo on non-sticker paper. This one, I think, turned out pretty well. Um, just because it was light anyway, like the photo itself was light. Now, all of these photos were really good quality photos. So I took them either with my iPhone or I think this one, actually both of these might have been professional photos that was emailed to me and had download them, downloaded them on my phone. So these are all high quality photos. Um, and I felt like this one turned out okay. Like this might be okay in a memory keeping book. I'm not sure. This one didn't turn out at all. <laughs> you can barely see me there with the camel and the pyramids. Um, I guess it was too light of a photo to pick up all of the images. Like this one, there's actual like sand dunes and stuff behind me, but it was so light it couldn't pick it up. Um, so those are photos with the non-sticker paper. And then we're not even gonna talk about this one because this one picked up the shadow too much and it made that super dark. <laughs> so that's just a horrible picture. Um, I'm gonna show you, before I show you other things, the photos on the sticker paper. I think that might be the best way. Um, yeah, it didn't print good at all. So I guess this one could be compared to this one. And this actually had a background 
to it. It was a light background, but it's that. So you can see on the sticker paper, it was not good at all. And this was after printing quite a few things. So this was not the first thing I had printed. This was the first image I printed or photo I printed, but that is pretty much it. Um, this is lined art that I thought was kind of cool. I was like, let me try it as a lined art. So, I mean, I just don't look the best in lines. <laughs> that's what I've learned. Um, that turned out okay. Still doesn't look super consistent it looks a little it does look like it breaks a little bit in the lines like the line isn't super bold or um i don't know what i'm trying to say almost like it's skipped in places um like this is a solid color shirt but like there's like little gaps in it and then this was an ai image so on the app you can type in something and i'll look create an AI image for you. So I just created a fairy swimming. So they did a fairy in water and that's how it printed. You can see that's not good at all. So this you would not want to use. So unfortunately for me, at least through my experiences, photos on the non-sticker paper were semi-okay. Photos on sticker paper was not successful. Um, so, but again, I don't think that you should be purchasing this to print photos. Um, that's just not what it's for. Um, it is something that it does, but it just, it's not really what, what it's for, what it's made for. So that is why the quality was low. Now we're gonna talk about labels. Um, okay, so this again is the non-sticker paper. Everything looks kind of bolded lines. Um, they have a lot of pre-made templates in the app and there's these labels and a lot of the labels are kind of for school so there's like chemistry stuff and math and stuff i just use this like textbook to be books and this will be like the book that i'm reading so if i want to pop this in my planner that's how it is and then this is the same image on sticker paper so again it's a little bit lighter it's not as bold this was the first one i printed so it doesn't look the best let me show you what it looks like in my planner because i'm gonna have some empty planner pages in this planner because there's five weeks so it printed a little bit better but it still is a lot lighter than this again i think it has to do with the texture and the finish of that and then i did print a weather one um so this the ink itself doesn't smear because i don't think they use ink right um but i did try my gel pen writing on it and i didn't wait very long at all and it did smudge but now it's fine so it's dry now um but if you wanted to like have weather stickers or whatever and you can write text in it like i did here i just chose not to do that here but you can even write the weather onto the actual label before you print it out and then it would already be there for you. So to me, that is what this printer is good for, stuff like that. Um, a couple of other things that I printed, I think you probably would have saw that depending upon what you're looking at. I know I'm showing you two things, the pop-up showing me on the app while I'm showing you other things which might be complicated. I just really wanna keep this video short. Um, but I did print out some text so I hope you can see that it says August goals and meals. Again, it's not super bold and like black. It's more of like grayish, but I think it works for its intended purpose. Um, these would be decent like little headers or labels. The only thing, I haven't played around with this enough to see if there's a workaround, but I did try to write three words and like hit the enter button so they were underneath each other and it didn't like in the print preview it only showed the first word so i'm not sure that i could make that work because there's just a lot of empty space and i would love it to say like meals workouts you know things like that so i can do multiple labels to kind of say cut down on um the waste because once i use this it's like gone <laughs> so um i would have to figure that out with the app um if i could make it work in the app it, it would definitely print it um it's just making it work with the app so um there we go that is my review of this particular printer um again i will have it linked down in the description box in case you are curious that was purchased on amazon um i think it you know for the value you do get a lot you get 10 rolls of tape or yeah, they call it tape. Um, five of it was just regular tape. Five of it was sticker paper or adhe adhesive paper. It's super, super easy to operate, super easy to set up. Um, you, here's the power button. Here's the charging cable. You just open it up like here, pop the roll of tape in like that. I mean, there's nothing to it. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's easy. 
it's just what do you want it for um i do think like a child would enjoy it i think they would think that i mean while i was like not excited about the photos i think a child would think it's the coolest thing to be able to print out photos regardless of the quality um so I think a child would like it. And I think if you want to print labels or headers or anything like that, I think it could be super unique. I mean, super unique. I think it could be super helpful for that. So again, just think about what you would use it for to decide whether or not it is right for you. But this is not a photo printer. So I feel like if you want a photo pr printer, you're going to have to invest in something a little bit more expensive, like the mini zinc printables. Um, printers like the Canon Ivy. Um, I think there's a Polaroid one. Again, they do two separate things, completely different. Like those printers, you do not want to print labels on because that paper is super expensive. Plus it's glossy and it's strictly kind of more like photo paper. So those are for photos, not really for labels. This will be more for your text and stuff like that. Um, in the description, they mention if you want to like write down a shopping list and print it out and take it to the store, that's one use. Um, of course, us planner peeps, we just handwrite it in our planners. But um, yeah, there we go. I tried to keep this short, so I was kind of chatty and talking really fast. But hopefully, I kind of gave you an idea of what these little mini printers are doing because they are everywhere. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing. I do plan on doing doing some more product reviews for things that I buy and things that I was gifted just so that way you guys can kind of see some of the other stuff that is out there especially things that I don't really use on a daily basis um, just to kind of highlight them so we can see whether or not they are worth a look <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you have a good rest of your day evening or night until next time bye